From early beginnings as a wooden wagon used for transporting goods and passengers in the 19th century. To the refined and luxurious models of the 30s and 40s. To the iconic family vehicles of the 50s and 60s, the station wagon has been an enduring symbol of practicality and versatility. Let's explore the history of the station wagon, examining the features and designs that made it a beloved vehicle for generations of drivers. The origins of the station wagon can be traced back to the late 19th and early 20th centuries, when wooden wagons known as depot hacks were used to take passengers and luggage between train stations and hotels. These wagons were often parked outside train depots, ready to transport travelers to their final destinations. With the evolution of the automobile, manufacturers realized there was potential in these as commercial vehicles. Ford started building wooden body wagons on the Model T chassis in the early 20s, and other companies issued wagons as well, including Star, a division of Durant Motors. In 1929, Ford introduced the Model A station wagon, which featured a wooden body mounted on a Model A chassis. The wagon was marketed for both commercial and personal use, and quickly became popular with families and small businesses alike. During the 1930s, station wagons started to become more popular as family vehicles, and manufacturers responded by making several changes to their designs. One of the significant developments was the introduction of four-door models, which offered more room for families and their luggage. With the additional seating, families could travel more comfortably, and make longer trips. In addition to more seating, station wagons in the 1930s also featured more powerful engines, which made it possible for families to travel longer distances, at higher speeds. In North America, this was made possible by the construction of new highways, such as the Pennsylvania Turnpike and Route 66, which provided better access to various locations. The station wagon's design in the 1930s also underwent a transformation, featuring more elegant designs with curved lines and rounded fenders. Some models included wooden paneling and chrome accents, which added to their visual appeal. However, wooden bodies were still the norm. In the 1940s, wagons began to feature more aerodynamic shapes and smoother lines. After World War II, families began to move to the suburbs, and take more vacations. They needed a vehicle that could transport both people and luggage. Station wagons proved to be the perfect solution, offering plenty of seating and cargo space in a single vehicle. Some models also included more luxurious features, such as plush interiors and power windows, making them more comfortable and convenient for families. Models like the 1940 Buick Super Estate, and the 1949 Mercury 8 Woody became beloved icons of the era. The 1950s were a decade of significant changes for the station wagon, as manufacturers sought to improve their designs to make them more appealing to families. One of the changes was the shift away from wooden bodies, which had been a hallmark of station wagons since their early days. Instead, manufacturers started using steel bodies, with modern lines and sculpted curves, that gave the vehicles a more streamlined and contemporary look. In addition to the new designs, station wagons in the 50s also started to feature more luxurious amenities inside the cabin. Air conditioning and power windows were among the new features, making the vehicles more comfortable to ride in. Some models even had fold-down seats that could be used as beds for camping or other outdoor adventures. One of the most iconic station wagons of all time is the Chevrolet Nomad, which was introduced in 1955. It was a stylish and sporty two-door wagon, that featured a unique combination of steel and fiberglass body panels. It quickly became a popular model among consumers, and remains a classic today. European manufacturers like Volvo, and Mercedes-Benz, introduced their own station wagon models, which were often more luxurious and stylish than their American counterparts. Volkswagen meanwhile, introduced an alternative. The Type 2, also known as the Microbus or Combi. The Type 2 was a versatile and practical vehicle that became popular with families and adventurers. 
Its distinctive shape and design made it an iconic symbol of the 1960s counterculture movement, and it remains a popular model today among collectors and enthusiasts. The development of the interstate highway system in the United States, and the Audubon in Europe, made it easier for families to travel long distances, and the station wagon was the perfect vehicle for these trips. Many families used their wagons for vacations and camping, loading up the large cargo space with tents, coolers, and other gear. The 1960s brought even more changes, as manufacturers began to focus on making the vehicles more stylish and comfortable. Features like power steering, power brakes and air conditioning, became standard, and many models were available with luxury options like leather upholstery and wood trim. The Chevy Impala was among the models that featured a stylized design. Along with a rear-facing third row of seats, the 60s also brought larger, more powerful engines. This provided improved performance and towing capabilities. It also contributed to a shift in the perception of station wagons from being primarily family vehicles, to being used for recreational purposes such as towing boats and trailers. The 1970s produced a number of notable wagons. One was the AMC Matador. It was produced from 1971 to 1978, and featured a distinctive front-end design with a prominent grille and round headlights. In addition to a spacious interior, the Matador was also well regarded for its smooth ride and handling. The Chevy Vega Comeback was a station wagon version of the Vega Compact. It was produced from 1971 to 1977, and featured a sloping rear roofline that gave it a sporty, aerodynamic look. However, the car's reputation for poor quality and reliability, hurt its sales. An enduring wagon for several decades was the Citroen DS Safari, a station wagon version of the luxury car. It was produced from 1958 to 1975, and featured a futuristic design with a hydropneumatic suspension system that gave it a smooth ride. The Safari also had a large, boxy area for cargo that was accessible from the rear or the sides. Despite some memorable designs, the 1970s brought challenges for the station wagon. The oil crisis led to higher fuel costs. This was not good news for the large fuel-thirsty station wagons of the time. Consumers began to turn to smaller, more efficient vehicles, like the hatchback and the compact. As well, safety concerns led to the development of stricter regulations for passenger cars, which made it more difficult and expensive for manufacturers to produce station wagons that met these standards. However, in the 1980s and 90s, the station wagon experienced a resurgence in popularity, particularly in Europe and Japan. These markets favored it for its versatility and practicality, and manufacturers responded by introducing new models and features. In the United States, the station wagon remained a niche vehicle, a trend that continued into the 2000s. While some manufacturers continued to offer station wagon models, they did not experience the same level of sales as SUVs and crossovers. In recent years, station wagons have remained popular among consumers in Europe. Manufacturers like Audi, BMW, and Volvo introduced new models that combine practicality and style, offering features like all-wheel drive, advanced safety technology, and luxurious interiors. These vehicles are often marketed as alternatives to SUVs and crossovers, offering similar features and capabilities in a more streamlined and efficient package. The station wagon's history is filled with many notable models and features. From its origins as a utilitarian vehicle, to its status as a modern and stylish family car, the station wagon has remained a popular choice among consumers for over a century. And through challenges and changes, it continues to be a beloved and enduring symbol of practicality and versatility in the automotive world.